years. Nottingham Forest are up three places to fifth, with Villa now dropping down to sixth position. So for Manchester United, they simply must just keep winning games, with the gap behind the leaders at nine points, and Newcastle also with a game in hand. But it won't be easy against Wimbledon, who at the moment are immersed in the relegation struggle and need the points just as much. All eyes today, of course, are very much focused on Eric Cantona. Since his return to action, Cantona's behaviour has been impeccable. He's played 20 first-team games, scoring seven goals and receiving just one yellow card. Here with first the rest of the United team news is your match commentator at Selhurst Park, Martin Tyler. Manchester United field the 11 which won at West Ham 12 days ago and more recently in the FA Cup at Reading with Cantona scoring in both those matches. Gary Pallister still not fully fit but he'll be needed next weekend when Gary Neville starts a two-match ban. Wimbledon, unlike Eric Cantona, have current problems with indiscipline. Robbie Earle and Mick Harford are both suspended today for recent red cards along with Epin Okoku who's totted up too many yellows. No Vinnie Jones either, he could be on the verge of joining Birmingham City. So Steve Tallboy is very much a squad player, gets a rare start in midfield today. And so too does Neil Ardley, who's been dogged by injuries. It's almost a year since he last began a league match. And Cantona applauds the prize to support his concentration. And again, as the Wimbledon start the game, Manchester United, with uh, by far the majority of fans in the stadium, stadium that's been revamped since Eric Cantona last saw it with the Holmesdale road stand behind the goal that Neil Sullivan is defending in the first half for Wimbledon. Clark, good turn! And the striker who's suddenly found a vein of form. Finding there a shot that in the end Schmeichel was pleased to see rise over the bar. where I think Joe Kinnear and his uh, managerial staff are a little concerned about the Wimbledon team today is the strength of personality. The players who are missing are very much amongst the leaders of the group. Robbie Earl has taken on much more responsibility recently. He's the leader of the Manchester United group who needs attention here. Steve Bruce is down. Wimbledon lacking the personalities as well as the playing skills of Earl. Mick Harford is still a, a great character, performing well. And there's just a little bit of concern here. Holdsworth, as players do, jumping with arms up to get the leverage. Been no uh, great complaints from Manchester United about brandishing the elbow to inflict damage deliberately on Steve Bruce. And Alec Ferguson has to take advice as to whether a substitution should be made straight away. So on comes Beckham for Steve Bruce. So Roy Keane can expect to stay as a defender now. And Beckham's gone to the uh, right-hand side of the midfield four. Giggs has switched to the left and Lee Sharp has tucked into the centre. And Beckham, well found. Again, Perry gets into the right position defensively. Ryan Giggs will take the corner. That's Bart. Cole from the rebound as the goalkeeper went full length. Well, no Steve Bruce to attack the corner, but Nicky Bart did a very good impression of his captain. 
very bravely up and it was a terrific stop at full stretch by Sullivan headed back by Irwin out by Perry Clark leads the charge forward for Wimbledon supported by Gale Wimbledon might be encouraged by the misfortune for Steve Bruce but they're not getting too much of the possession in midfield to come up with that supply line to this point counter now turning away from the other number seven Oivin Leonardson this is Irwin on the gallop all the chance for Manchester United from the corner to get their noses in front before half time the substitute David Beckham to take it Dean Holdsworth to head away Irwin there's plenty of minutes on that Andy Cole after 41 minutes Manchester United have been controlling the shape of this first half and now they have something to show for it. The swerve on the cross from Irwin carried it onto the head of goal. And he will tell you he's not the most deadly in this type of situation. But he was today. Sharp. Phil Neville. Cole chasing. It actually has spun the trap. Chris Perry was the culprit who dropped back and uh, in the end dealt with the danger as he had to do when others had stepped out to try and win an offside decision. Cole. Down goes Sharp. Tripped right on the edge of the area by Perry. With two minutes of time added on. And Wimbledon really will want to get to half time without conceding a second. They're on the back foot again. Beckham goes for goal! On the side of the bar. The ball is in. Roy Keane was around as the ball bounced down. matters for Manchester United is that they lead by two goals to nil and Chris Perry challenged by Keane had the touch as it came down the referee I don't think was going to give the goal to Beckham but more reward for Manchester United evident superiority here Holdsworth. Here's the Leonard. And it comes to Holdsworth and Gale. Well, it was the Holdsworth shot and Gale was just reacting to that. But it was an opening for Wimbledon. Bit of fortune in it. And when it flew off the outside of Dean Holdsworth's left foot, it could have led to a goal for Marcus Gale who had very little time to adjust. Well, on corners, Wimbledon are supplying evidence of their improvement since those goals went in. Mark trying to keep it in, and he's done that. And uh, still with the help of the corner back, the ball is still alive. Manchester United were caught out for a moment. Unfortunately for Wimbledon, they couldn't get the ball back in. Now they've done so. And Gale! 
Well, the signs have been there. What a strange episode. It looked as though it would all end with the ball going out of play on that far side, but Wimbledon stuck at it. And this is their reward by the long leg on the stretch of Marcus Gale. It was Kimball's cross. And Schmeichel was rooted to the line. Now we really do have a go. Cross. Kane Clark, but uh, the ball was delivered by Irwin for Beckham. Gets the better of Kimball. Tees up Cantona. He tees up Beckham. Crosses it towards Cantona. Well, he goes into the Selhurst Park crowd again. But this time for all the right reasons. Eric Cantona has come back to this part of South London, a ground where memories will always be painful for what happened in 1995. But here, a new year, a new dawn in Cantona's career, a new character, if you like. And if you can earn a goal for good behaviour, Eric Cantona has earned today. It's a bit short, Yule, can he squeeze it in, it's not easy, but he's done it. So Wimbledon, score a second time. And Jason Yule gets reward here for pressuring first Keane and then Schmeichel and shows in the senior team here what he's done uh, splendidly in his youth career with Wimbledon his eye for the opening his ability to take a chance it's Wimbledon 2 Manchester United 3 this is uh, Andy Cole and this is Cantona The gigs. Oh, penalty. Kenny Cunningham. Referee was a yard away. And he saw Cunningham. And Cantona steps forward again. The opportunity here with 10 minutes to go to make it absolutely clear that this is to be his day. If Cantona scores, surely there's no way back to Wimbledon. He slipped as he took it. But it had the desired effect because the goalkeeper was already tumbling to the other side of the goal. And two for Cantona at Selhurst Park. Yule. And the incidentally Yule second senior goal. He's got one on his debut here. It was against Southampton in October. And he will remember for a long time scoring against Manchester United, even if he might not want to remember the result. Goodman. Yo! Well, you could see what he was trying to do, just to open out the left foot and uh, let the pace of the ball do the trick. But he was too strong in his contact.
has time added on now. Andy Cole got the first one for Manchester United. Marcus Dale, the first for Wimbledon. Oh, and Leon Arson. They really have made openings in the second half. It was Philip Neville, I think, who came across and just got a boot to the ball in time for Manchester United. Back goes Schmeichel. After the flick on from Gale, they're getting it right, Wimbledon, as they're running out of time. It's been uh, a very gallant effort from Joe Kinnear's team. Still being pressed right to the final whistle. Manchester United, but the points are surely in the bag. They are in the bag. But what a happy conclusion to Eric Cantona's return to Selhurst Park. Back at the scene of the crime, but back with two goals to emphasise what a reformed character he has become. And that his talent now is not diluted by those flashes of temperament, the worst of which was seen in this stadium just over a year ago. Manchester United complete this season's double over Joe Kinnear and the Crazy Gang. No points towards the Wimbledon Survival Fund this afternoon, despite their participation in a splendid match. But Manchester United continue their pursuit of Newcastle. Alec, I don't suppose you could have written a better script, really. Well, it's a, it's a good result for us. Um, we're well aware of uh, the difficulties of playing Wimbledon because even although they talk, they talk about uh, three players been missing, it sometimes gives them a bigger cause and they can become a great team because of that and a great team spirit. But uh, I felt, particularly in the first half, we played excellent stuff uh, and we, oh, we've lost two goals, but we also looked at scoring goals today, so it was a good day for us.